Chair, the LAPD is calling this an alarming trend escalating to such a degree that officials held a news conference to talk about it. Paintball has been a popular competitive shooting sport for years, often enjoyed in controlled tactical settings with plenty of protective gear and rules and regulations. But Los Angeles police say the pastime is spilling onto city streets where unsuspecting people are becoming targets. And cops emphasize these guns and pellets are not simple toys. While owning and possessing paintball guns is legal, using them in a manner other than what they're intended for is not. The paintball projectiles are fired from these weapons at speeds up to 300 feet per second. When they hit a person, they can cause serious injury. Police spoke to reporters in South LA where they say the vast majority of the attacks are happening. Officers had guns, paintballs, charts, and pictures of the painful welts and injuries victims suffered on display. The LAPD has handled close to 100 reports of attacks this year and says social media is fueling the criminal craze. Young people in our community are engaging in what they refer to as paintball wars. They're often recording their attacks and then posting those attacks on their social media pages. To make matters worse, authorities point out that many paintball guns can appear to be high-powered weapons. Our fear as law enforcement leaders is that an officer will encounter a young person armed with one of these realistic looking paintball guns and be forced to make a split second life and death decision. Imagine an innocent fun game can turn into a deadly game. Police say if you commit these kinds of attacks, you may be charged with a felony. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. Chris.